Yo, 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 what it do, what it do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the rapper, baby. Y'all know what it is. Sitting right here right now with one of these Arkansas legends, man. The great Suavio the Dunn. Trout, big drip gang. What it do? Uh-oh, here we go. It's going to be going off all <laughs> night. I should have. I was going to make him turn it off, y'all, but you see, he's so busy. He's so busy. These youngsters, they got to go lie. But, you know, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. This is uh, my first episode of the, of the vlog and the podcast. So I appreciate everybody for tuning in, first of all. It's a, a big, 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 big accomplishment for me. And I'm just uh, humbled to have another ultimate hustler sitting to my left right now. Suave, talk to the people, man. Shit, what's up, man? Suave, you done. Lil Rock, Big Drip Gang. Trap, y'all already know what it is with me, man. Blunt breakout right now. I'm going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Suave, yo, was uh, extra, extra late, y'all. Let's go ahead and put that out there. <laughs> Extra late, like like his time was oh, set to man. record was for six o'clock, and it's oh, and it's almost nine o'clock here. So you know, I was about to shut everything down and call it a night. You know what I'm saying? But Suavio, he's I'm, I'm outside, man. Can we smoke in there? <laughs> <laughs> man, you know, I need you know, life, man. And, and with me, see, it's uh, I I hadn't shot one of these shows since I Smiles died. Me and I used to do a show together called the Mop Head Show. Okay. So yeah, so it's uh it's different. And this one called uh You Have to Reach have Millions. To reach millions, all right. Basically it's based off the book that I got out. Okay. You guys can go ahead and check uh you can pre order it right now on Amazon. Depends on when you're watching this. But uh the book is called uh Direct Marketing, You Have to Reach Millions. Okay, that's what's yeah. up. I'm gonna have to grab it. That's what's up. So Swai, you coming from basketball practice, man. What's going on? Man, they got a uh we got a Another, this is the third annual Arkansas Celebrity uh, Basketball Game. So, this my this my second one. Yeah, my second one. This the third annual one though. I missed the first one, but yeah, we was just out there trying to you know get some kind of chemistry going, see what see what's what. I really just got out there to try to exercise and you know practice and find my shot. They got you. You, you starting you starting five man. They got you coming I, off the bench. I don't know. I think I am, but I started last year. You, you started when you played the one or the two. I was on the one. Okay, you're right at the point. Yeah. You got the handles. Yeah, man. Look, so oh man. come on, man. I ain't gonna take it from me. I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> that's what's, that's what's happening, man. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that was the whole the basketball thing today. Y'all working it out, celebrity basketball team. Mm -hmm. Y'all got a squad too, huh? Yep, yeah, we got a couple of people over there that can do a little summer. A couple of them played on the other team last year, but now they on my team, so that's, that's gonna be nice. And then there's some some new players playing this year on the black team that I want to kind of check out. So it's gonna be turn. Then we got the women playing. That's different. I ain't seen the women play up and down yet. A lot of women talking about they can hoop, so we gonna see. And this uh, event is put on by D Dirt, right? Yep, yep. 18. And and what y'all do, y'all? It's like a big event. Everybody come out. I had, I coached one year, but it's yeah. been years. It's been years since I was out there, man. Yeah. I ain't no athlete. <laughs> <laughs> I was always a rapper, Swab. I was right. like, no, I was no. always a rapper. They they had me on the team to entertain them, yeah. you know, <laughs> at the back of the bus. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was rapping on the back of the bus. Uh, really? I ain't get no game. <laughs> I ain't get no game, oh, brother. Sound man. like you got a little game, man. You got a little playing time. Did you play organized sports in school? Yeah, I played for fair. And uh, I played high school for, well, elementary. I played for, well, I mean, middle school. I'm sorry. I played for Forest Heights, and then I played for fair for a minute. So I learned a little bit, you know. And that's all here in Little Rock. This is yeah. a worldwide audience we got here. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, Little Rock, Swat, Arkansas. Swat, Swat, you're be repping that Little Rock so hard, man. And, I don't think about nothing. Yeah, think about nothing else, but hey. You're going to have to find out now. <laughs> but it's no. that Little Rock, though, yeah. And, and speaking of Little Rock, the scene, man. I hope you're in Houston, too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, like in college or? No, I played for Hastings High School. Yep. And yeah? He, yeah, when I was there, uh, I don't know if a lot of people might know him, but his name was Rashad Lewis. He played at Elsick right across the street. So, yeah, and he went to the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That name sounds familiar right there. Yeah, he in the big three right now. Okay. Yeah. That's but, what's happening. Uh, yeah, I played in Houston for a minute too. So, man, my pops was a basketball player. So that's just in my family. I, everybody in my family hoop. 
So. That's it. Nine and you know, that's the same thing in my family. And that's why my son play baseball. Because, yeah. you know, our black people just don't play baseball like they used to, man. No, not like they used to. Not yeah. like they used to. Softball, yeah. maybe. Yeah, but that it's ain't the same fight. thing. It, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we like some softball. <laughs> well, I got a softball story I'm going to tell y'all one day. It's going to break y'all heart, man. It's going to break y'all heart. Y'all don't yeah. want to hear my softball story. It's like uh, that movie. Remember that movie with them kids in the projects that had the little... Sandlot. Yeah, I got one of them stories, no, man. No. Yeah, yeah. Project kid, man. No, so, no. yeah, my... <laughs> Man, man, you just took me all the way back down. <laughs> anyway, let's keep the interview going, man, because we start talking about that story. Man, that's a whole episode in itself, man. Yeah. Suavio, let's talk about the music first, because that's where, that's where I first heard the name Suavio was on the music scene. Right. Yeah. So, how long you been doing music? How long you been rapping? Man, uh, I'm gonna say the game took me serious in 2005. That's when I say I started, because that's when. People was started paying attention, and it started to mean some. You know, when you first start, you just trying to find yourself. But if you want to ask me when I first just grabbed a mic or did just a song ever, uh, it was nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Yep. What was that song? What song was that? Uh, it was called Big Pimpin'. Big Pimpin', yeah, Spending Cheese. My very first one, uh, produced by Chuck Sweet and BD from Wicked Boys. If you know him in Arkansas, Little Rock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, Chuck Sweet. Right Chuck Sweet still be on the, I think he's still in the Legends group right now. I see him in there all the time. He's to this day. He, he just sent me some beats last night. Shouts out to Chuck Sweet. Yeah. That's what's happening. Free Dante. Play a maid. Play a maid. That's, yeah. that's, 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 a, that's a throwback yeah. there too. Yep. Free Dante. Shit. Real. Free him again. Man, so uh, so what happened? Now, how, did somebody have a studio? Chuck had a studio, or how did it work? How did you first get in the studio? Because I know I know beating on the tables, rapping. Mm -hmm. You you took it to another level though. Yeah, I mean we started off just at school catching the corner at, at lunch. You know what I'm saying? We used to battle people from Memphis. We used to battle them since so we had a couple niggas that rap from Memphis, and then us. You know what I'm saying? Me, Big Dollar, uh, a couple more rappers that y'all might know about. You know what I'm saying? They, some of them don't rap no more, but. Uh, it started from there, and then, you know, people at the school, like, man, they be having these little competitions at this park on uh, Roosevelt on, on Sundays, you know what I'm saying? So I just went out there one day, and I had to battle somebody named Long Live Exotic, April Mills. I had to battle her. So when I battled her, Chuck Sweet pulled up on me, like, man, we need to get you in the studio. I went, to, as soon as he said that, I, we was leaving there going to the studio. Wow. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. And I recorded Big Pimpin'. And when I recorded that first song, they were like, man, we need to drop a tape with you. And uh, I lived in their studio for a month. I believe it. You're a real hit, right? You're a real hit maker, man. Just like Exotic, man. That, yep. I would like to see that show, man. Like you yep. say, rest in long peace long to the home long girl. Long but exotic, yeah, so my yeah. First time seeing where I was at competing against somebody, it was Exotic. Wow. Yeah, we was bar for bar, too. But she was popping. She had a record called Boom Clap already. So people already knew her. I was just. Just fresh coming back from H Town, rapping and shit, and shit. I had to battle her, and I held it down. Shit, it, it got me a song. <laughs> yeah, that was after you know the old nightlife days. That was so. Yeah. That was right after nightlife uh -huh. and yeah, legends I, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember them days, man. man. Little rock legend, baby, been around a long time, <laughs> long time. For real. That's back yeah. when Cat Daddy still had the curl. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to the homie Cat Daddy. What's happening? <laughs> Boy, we go all the way back. Man, you hear me? That was a long time ago. Yeah. For go real. all the way back. Um, so 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 the first song you did was Big Pimpin'. Uh -huh. And what happened from there? Where did it where did the music go from there? From there, man, it went once I dropped Big Pimpin' and we started pressing up sing the single and giving it out and Every time somebody heard it, they was loving it. It was just like, okay, we got an artist now. You know what I'm saying? We got an artist. We had they had Dante over there. Dante was young. He was like, shit, nine, ten years old. You know what I'm saying? Rapping, going off though. But shit, I was of age, so I could go to clubs. I could go travel a little bit, and I just kept rapping, man. Just kept dropping songs, kept dropping tapes, getting in competitions. Uh, that Sunday at the park, I was I I, I kept going to that. After that first one, I just kept going. We got 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 to getting shows and stuff, but a couple of the members had to go off to the army, and you know, people going their separate ways, trying to find themselves. I just stuck with rapping, 
and I went from that to jumping in other studios, kept putting together projects, putting them out, selling them on the streets, and the buzz kept going, the money kept flowing, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yep. That's what's up. Yep. Suave from, the uh, They used to, didn't know I was going to be there to pulling up, like, I knew you was gonna be up here. And then sometimes it was like, man, why you ain't why you ain't in, why you ain't at Seventeenth Broadway today? What's going on? So I was like, yeah, they like this shit. Then <laughs> shit, I'm gonna stay back up. I'm gonna go back up there then. Seventeenth and Broadway. Uh huh. What was on seventh? What's on Seventeenth and Broadway? Shit, it was a whole lot of money. <laughs> that's, what's that? What what store is that though? Uh, that's Broadway. it's a super stop. Well, it was a super stop, but you know they, they change the name all the time. It's I think it's like an easy mart now. Gotcha. Yeah. I used to see you post it over. Stop or something. Right? I used to see you post it over there by uh, where they sell the tickets at. Uh, Uncle, Uncle T's. Uncle T's. Yeah, Uncle T's. They ran me out. Swabby on the dime. Uncle T's ran me out, man. <laughs> it's like in CDs. They ran me out, man. They said I was doing too much. <laughs> they ran me out. You're going to have to leave, bro. You let the stamp here a little while, but you got to leave. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah, a business outside of the business. Man, look. Hey, that's what I always tell people, you know. Hey, AutoZone ain't never made a car. You know what I mean? What? AutoZone ain't never made a car, but <laughs> AutoZone, they sell everything, everything that a car needs. Need, <laughs> they never made one. Hey, that's it. Yeah. That's, that's real talk. So, yeah, I salute you for that, man. Uh, I, I salute anybody that can come up with something original and then get out and push it. Yep. Because anybody can make a product or come up with a service, but can you sell that product or service? Yeah, you got to have your game tight. You got to be on top of your game because, I mean... You got to understand, man, folks don't have time as it is, especially when you post it up at a spot like a gas station. So your pitch got to be ready. You got to peep the scene. You got to look at what people doing, and that's how you get your money. You can't just say, I'm going to ask everybody that come through the door to buy my shit. You can't do that because hmm. you're going to be looking sad at the end of the day. You're going to be like, man, I asked everybody. How did you ask them? Why did you ask them? You, you know what I'm saying? You need to be telling them what's up. Let them know what's going on. Inform them instead of asking them. You know what I'm saying? That's when that's when they ain't gonna fuck with you. But when you assertive, you know what I'm saying? That's when they gonna take take you serious. If you don't take yourself serious, ain't nobody else gonna take you serious. So mine came from consistency and being assertive. Like the first time when I first started selling the CDs, people were just blowing me off. A couple people about it because they just like most of them was like, man, I don't really listen to music, rap music, but I just want to get support you because I see you out here doing something positive. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. I took them, and when they did that, they came back like, hey, man, you really got some talent, though, man. I didn't expect it, man. Hey, um, such and such, such and such got this going on, or you need to be over here. And I took that shit, and I ran with all that. Yeah. For real. And you know, this is going to shock you, Suave, because you know me from doing stuff in the rap scene and yep. the Arkansas Legend group. Yep. Uh, you're going to be the only rapper probably ever on this show. Damn. This this ain't a show about rappers. You see what I'm saying? Well, I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> I just I know it's gonna blow your mind. This show is about entrepreneurs. Fact. This show is about hustlers. This show is about people who are willing to do what it takes to reach millions to well, put their the family in a different position. I know that <laughs> because well, I met you as an entrepreneur. Right, right. Before and just me. like those guys, you see what I'm saying? When I met you. It wasn't even about it was it wasn't even about the music. It was about this young man is out here yep. trying to better himself. Facts. Exactly. That's, that's all the music is. being as bomb as it was, just like for them, is just a treat. Yep. Because the music is fire. Thank, thank I think you're the most underrated rapper I ever <laughs> most underrated rapper I ever met. And you know, being what we do, we've met yeah. a lot of rappers, you know what I'm saying? We, we we get to meet them all. I think you're the most underrated, and I think I think you definitely one of the most talented by far. I appreciate that. Uh, and what really brought it out for me was when you started running with E Dub. But I know I took it a little far there. What? I mean, I pushed it a little farther than what we was at with the story plot. I don't want to oh, go too far. But yeah. yeah, when I start to work my move, you know that's yeah. <laughs> I, I hate to jump all the way to work my move, but I'm you sure. know that's that's my jam, and I tell you that all the time. That's like the one that just was like. Did it for everybody. Work my move just did it for everybody. They were like, okay, this he here. You know yeah, he saying? ain't like, going he nowhere. He this him. He here. I mean, that record undeniable. 
You know what I'm saying? And you know it's undeniable when when people try to steal it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, where well, can they find that record at? For the, for my podcast listeners, just uh, anywhere, all platforms. Work my moves, so I'll be able to done. You know what I'm saying? iTunes, everywhere, anywhere you can name. You can go on your Instagram and go in the, into your music on your Instagram. It's on there. You know what I'm saying? Twitter, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Can't miss it. Video out on YouTube too. All right. So back to the hustle. Yeah. So 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 you selling CDs. Mm-hmm. You got dope music out. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas is a very small market. It's not a uh, self standing. It's not like being on the West Coast yeah. where you uh and like in uh, Diego or somewhere in the mm-hmm. Bay mm-hmm. where you can just sell records in the Bay and be and, rich. And be rich yeah. Or Texas. like Houston. Yeah. Where you can Texas, be down Texas. in Houston. And not go anywhere else. You can go platinum in your own city. Yeah. Exactly. Like Mike Jones, Paul Wall, and all them guys. Shout out to my homie Mike Jones. You know what it is. Yeah. Uh, and Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Chicago. Atlanta. Ch- Chicago. Yeah. And, and, uh, and Memphis, man. Memphis, you can do decent. Yeah, Memphis lit right now. Yeah, Memphis, you can do decent just in Memphis. So Memphis that's that's lit. another one of them spots. But uh, And Little Rock is uh, Arkansas as a whole. I won't just say Little Rock. Arkansas mm-hmm. as a whole has started to pick up with a lot of heat. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people getting signed. A lot of people. Bankroll, uh, Ed Dolo. Some other young cat just got signed up in uh, Jonesboro. Mm. I think it was Jonesboro. So I think he might have been a little farther up. I think blue chip is what I'm thinking about there, but then I know Sosa's on the edge of trying to get a deal. Yeah, There's a lot of people working, man. But I definitely think that your name should be in that list. <laughs> Everybody tell me that, man. Yeah, I just think I mean just just being the hip hop connoisseur that I am, somebody who's been at this for almost forty years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it ain't no. It ain't no just cause you here. You know, I say it all the time, and I tell everybody everywhere I go. I mean, when they ask me. You and Slick Country, just they just <laughs> y'all up there on my up, on my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, it's just you and Slick, man. It's just man, we working, man. We uh, you know, a lot of people ask me that. You know what I'm saying? My kids even ask me. They're like, Daddy, uh, like my oldest daughter, she like she see a lot of artists getting signed. She asked me why you not signed. You know, she asked me that because she said you got good music. All my friends love it. You know why you not signed, pops? And I'm just like. Baby, if it's time, it's time. But in the meantime, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, we're gonna stay humble. But if we got some big st- big stuff coming up, you know what I'm saying? So it's a big money game. It ain't always about the music, but that's why you hustle the way yeah. you do so yeah. you can be in position. Even if I don't get signed, I'm gonna still it's gonna be like I'm signed because I'm she getting it the same way. Like people don't understand. I've never had a major feature in life, man. And look where I'm at. Never ever in life had a major feature at all. Like you know, I know ain't nothing wrong with having a major feature because that's can that can push you further because you can tap into the, that artist's market too. But I've never I got here on my name. That's real. Yeah. And I mean, and there's a lot of cats in Arkansas like that. That's just OG. Then I yeah. mean, Ball Jones, um, yeah. Arkansas Bo, uh, Southside Reggie. You know what I'm saying? E yeah. Dub. Yep. You you can put those guys up six oh seven. Yeah. And um. You can put those guys up against anybody in the world. And they're going to stand up. And they're going to stand. They're going to hold it down. They taught me. You know what I'm saying? They taught me. I wasn't I wasn't uh, trying to go against people that was like, I didn't hang around people my age. I hung around people that was older than me. So I played the background first and was behind the scenes. Like, like when I first started rapping, like Boogie Shoes was my mentor. Shout you know out to saying? Shoes. Like, Boogie Major Shoes League. was my mentor. He... Took me everywhere, took me on tour with them, introduced me to artists, gave me so much game about this the music industry, and he ain't just give me game just by talking to me. While he was talking, he was showing me. I was right there with him everywhere. I'm talking about I'm 15 going in strip clubs and, and grown folks in here, and I'm 15, 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? So being that young and witnessing being around superstars, people that people look up to, now I was around them at a young age, so... It kind of grow on you. You don't just get starstruck. You, you just kind of learn. It just kind of grow on you being around these different artists. So that kind of got me seasoned real fast and knowing how to carry myself, knowing how to perform, knowing what to say, how to say it. That came from being around Big Pokey, Boogie Shoes, Mike Jones, Slim Thug, Flip, all them. Just be Hank Big Mo, just being around. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even know who I was because I wasn't just 
in the studio with him. I was just bagging up my homeboy. And if I had an opportunity to get on some, then I'm gonna knock this, shit, knock it out. You know, you was playing your role. Yeah, your I was role, playing my role to. I was on the bench till the coach called me in. That's it. I mean, but that's that's <laughs> yeah. that's how legends are made, though. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't understand that Jay Z did the same thing for Big Daddy Kane. You know what I'm saying? Tupac did the same thing for uh, Shock G and Digital yep. Underground. Facts. Yep. See what I'm You're saying? Right. Right. And hip hop, you know, it's just the way it's just the way hip hop is. Yep. You know, if you got somebody that you can learn from before you pop, it's gonna be better for you. But if you just blow out of nowhere, it's gonna be worse because you just like you ain't used to this. You gonna blow all your money. You know what I'm saying? You're going to either blow all your money, you're going to be fucked, messed off on drugs, or you just going to flop. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not used to this. Unless you got somebody around you that's going to guide you the right direction, that's going to cost you money too. I'm speaking from an independent aspect. I ain't speaking from a person that's signed to a label because they got people in place to coach you through stuff like that so you won't crash. You know what I'm saying? Because you considered their product. I learned off experiences and making mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And being blackballed and getting the raw end of the deal on shit. That's how I learned, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. So, so what's uh what's the biggest show you ever been a part of? Man, my biggest show was when I opened up for Mo Three. Wall to wall. Rest in peace to Mo Three, man. And I met him and man, we kicked it. Smoked so much weed, man. <laughs> Man. Well, uh, what was this at? Bada Bing. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Uh, I remember, I don't know how long ago it was. Now, you were in a, on a uh, a showcase. Mm. Uh, uh, and you was it was like a competition style. Streets where it was, me streets. Street? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that shit. Who, uh, who, who was that, at 428 or was nah, it at? It was at 12. At 12? Mm-hmm. Shouts out to Tracy. Joe Johnson, it what's was happening? A, while a long time ago. Huh? Yeah, a long time yeah. ago. I remember you kept popping up number one. It's like everybody had to try to beat Suavio to done. Yep. Yep. It was a 14 week competition. They had different categories. 14 weeks. Like they had like uh, the group category. Then they had like the R&B category for the R&B people. Then they had the uh, solo artist, which was me and the solo artist uh, slot. And uh, I'll never forget because Jay Taylor was. The radio host on the radio station and the first time i got there this was my first win so after you win they take you to the radio station and you kind of talk about it and stuff like that the first time i won i told him i'm gonna I'm a win i'm gonna win every week with a different song man he laughed at me on the radio and everything laughed at me i'm somebody laughed at me for real because you know this is me trying to trying to trying to get my my foot in the door show these folks i ain't going and by like the seventh or eighth week, I'm still here. With a different song. <laughs> On my mama. Man, that's strong right there, bro. Yep. Yeah. So I get to week 14, and they try to throw. First of all, they was throwing. The first time, the, the first few weeks, they would just, it was just me against another artist. And I was just beating, beating everybody. It's my unanimous, beating everybody. So about the middle of the combine, you was 14 weeks, and at the end of this 14, 14 weeks, you're supposed to win $1,500 for each category. So I'm on their top, you know what I'm saying? And then once I get to like the seventh or eighth week, they start switching it up. They start throwing two and three people at me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, the they last, change the rules. I'm knocking their ass out too. Then the last week, the very last week when it's time to win the money, they threw, uh, a, they threw a chick at me. They said they put her in the rap category, but she was she said a rap, but she was singing and dancing and she had a choreographer dude with her doing backflips and shit. I can't compete with all that. I'm just here rapping rhymes, man. You know what I'm saying? But she won over the crowd with that. Okay. And I didn't get paid my money. So So you rap for fourteen weeks. Yep. And then they gave somebody else the money on the fourteenth week. Man, it was to the point where okay. During this competition, I was working at a spot called Famous Days. I don't know if you remember. Oh, that, that was my spot. Man, Boy, I was eating Day. meat back then. This building is full of white people. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm not saying white people don't like rap music, but very seldom is your job gonna come see a rap competition. Man, it got to the point where my whole job had VIP. My my boss bought VIP was in it was in there throwing popping bottles and everything. Wow. For real, you can. I mean, the DJ Deja Blue can vouch for that. 
You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Blue. To the job and get, he used to come up to the job and rock with us at Famous Days. Oh, Famous I had Days was jumping a spot. that competition. We had the whole VIP in the back full of people from Famous Days barbecue, man. Popping bottles, turned up, you know what I'm saying? All that. It was just that crazy. But, you know, I came up shot in the end. That was a that was a big stepping stone for me, man, because uh, I really was uh, on my grizzly with that competition. I was out to win, and I came up shot on the technicality. And that really kind of stuck with me. And I told myself, man, try to, you know, not think about it. But I kind of felt like a motherfucker hold me, man. But, you know, hey, you're going you gonna to lose some. Just keep pushing. Look at me now, though. That's real. But I can see and telling your voice, man, you changed all the way. That still affect you to this day. Yep. So it's like a fire that's in you to make you better. I made it my business to make sure they would, they would never do that to me again. And that's why you own your own, and you do your yeah. own. You throw your own shows, yeah. and you ain't got to worry about nothing exactly. like that. Exactly. That was, uh, I felt like that was real disrespectful, too. Mm. But, you know, I came in I came in the door by myself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, psh, nigga, who is you? Broke-ass nigga? Was, what? You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's the vibe that people was coming at me with when I was first trying to, hey, this me, I rap. Such and such, such and such. They like, oh, he ain't, he ain't hanging with a whole bunch of people. He ain't got no money. You ain't supposed to chase the money. You chase the dream, the money gonna come. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's that was the vibe for me. It wasn't no, oh, you rap, you hard, come on in. It was nah, uh, uh-uh. you gonna have to pay, or you gonna have to, you know, rub some rub, rub ruffle up some feathers. I made a lot of people mad doing this, trying to get here. Man, but shit, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Man, yeah. I ain't never, you know, stepped on nobody's toes or, you know what I'm saying, did some shaky stuff to block them from getting somewhere. I just made sure I was solid. Made sure my stuff was together when I pull up. So when my name come up, they gonna know everything is A1, legit. And he ain't came to play with y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's business. Yeah, it's business. It's all business. And yeah. that and that's what this is all about, it's all business. Uh, now the next thing that I remember you popped off, and that hadn't been too long ago, was uh, well first you, I saw you cutting hair. Uh-huh. I saw you cutting hair. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I yeah. say okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. I think the hair game is one of them games where you can make money up forever. Man, look, I love cutting hair, man. I love that. That's my passion right there, man. I could cut hair all day. I don't know. It's just something about it, man. Being able to send people out the door. Fresh with a smile on their face, and, and it's just a whole vibe of cutting hair. I, I just love it. I grew up in a barber shop. Most of the people I looked up to was barbers, you know what I'm saying? And I, but all hustlers going to mess around and be a barber, man. That's just going to probably be part of your criteria. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to run through that barber phase. You're going to try it. Shouts out to all the barbers out there, man. You know. Matter of fact, if you got a barber, uh, right, there we go. Okay, hey, if you got a barber shop, drop it down in the links, man. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the barber shop too. I got a single called Chopping. It's about cutting hair. It's on iTunes. It's called I'm Chopping, Chopping, Suavio. It's hard too. No, that's what's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I had to. So you, so you, so you in the shop? You got the music about the shop. Yep. Then you got your own cologne. Uh huh. Don Suavio. Don Suavio. Where can they find your cologne now? Man, it's uh right now it's postponed to the to uh the winter because of some stuff that happened overseas on the shipping and everything. Yeah, but, COVID has been a beast. Everybody you can find it on that. my website. You know what I'm saying? DonSuavio.com. So you know it's dropping back in. It, we're gonna drop it again in December. Everybody been asking me, man, when you gonna come with some more cologne? Come with some more. It's on the way. Trust me. So have your pockets ready. Yeah, I got some upstairs. My, I think my son took it. Oh man, I think my son took it, but I know I got some upstairs, yeah. man. Um, so you got the cologne, you got the music, yeah. you got the shop. Yeah. What can uh, before we before we go any further? What all platforms can they find you on? Everything you can name. Everything you can name. iTunes, uh, YouTube, title, just every platform. SoundCloud. Uh, Deezer, man, uh, it ain't no Google Play no more because I think uh, YouTube took that over. YouTube music everywhere, man, everywhere you can name, my music is there. You know, I just started a production company, Suavio the Don Productions, so uh, get ready for that. Then I really, I just legitimized Big Drip Gang, so we legal 
And, you know, I just built the foundation now, now I've set the foundation, now it's time to build. Okay, uh, and you on Instagram? Yep, Instagram, at Suavio to Done. Everything is Suavio to Done. Uh, no spaces, no nothing. What yeah. about TikTok? Suavio to Done. <laughs> I'm on TikTok. How long it take you to get to TikTok? Man, um, I would, man, my daughter be on there. She be, uh, <laughs> she be putting me up on game about the TikTok. She like, Dad, you got to do TikTok. Yeah. Man, I really couldn't get into it at first, but once I started scrolling and seeing stuff that made me laugh, I started rocking with TikTok. They, they be having some funny people on there, man. I, be, I rock with them, though. That's what's up. Yeah. I, I got uh, Joe Johnson on my uh, on my TikTok. He got me 11 band. What? 11 band views on there. What? I had put a clip from the big three and I put dude, my single dude from Little Rock in the background. And it's only it got like 11, about 11, 7. Oh, minutes. that's what's up, man. Yeah, that little dude Johnson. from Little Rock. Yeah, he rocking with it too. He like that. Shout out to Joe Johnson too, man. They finna win it again. The triplets. Shout out to Coach, Coach Lisa. Is we going crazy? Yeah, that little dude from Little Rock. Shout out to Pargo, Janeiro Pargo over there too. Yeah. Hey man, if I play that on the on the show, man, you ain't gonna sue me, are you? Uh, no, man. Okay, I just want to make sure, man. I can't sue my brother. I just want to make sure, man. I just want to make sure I got rights to use the song, man. man. Go ahead, man. You can use that song <laughs> over and over and over and over. Y'all heard he got the rights. There you have it. That's now, what's got, up. Nobody else now. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> happening. So uh, we got that. We got we got what Suavio what got you here. Yeah. Now what can we expect? We know how to reach you. Mm -hmm. We got all your social medias. Yeah. Follow me what, on Twitter too. What can we expect from Suavio in the next five to ten years? Well, what what's next? I'm be, man. I'm gonna be laid back with the label, man. Helping my artists. I know I'm gonna still be rapping, but you know it's gonna be a different type of rap. I'm gonna be at a whole another stage in life rapping about it. Uh. I went through the trap stage. I went through the prove my point stage. The let's see if you better than me stage. Now I'm just man laid back, eating healthy, taking care of my family, and making dope music. Man, I ain't just making music about you know. I'm I'm trying to. I'm on some player shit. Like I'm on some laid back player shit. Trying to last long type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm all about the longevity. You know how long you can last. Cause one day you can be the hottest and then the next day you could fall off but if you just run your race and you can last you're going to be able to you know what i'm saying enjoy the fruits of your labor and that's where i'm at with it i'm not rushing nothing i'm on a steady pace you know what i'm saying on my way to the top but i'm gonna enjoy the whole ride and that's what when it comes down to branding yep. when you start talking about branding you can if your brand is solid if people know that you're gonna do what you're gonna you do, do and it's gonna be quality it don't matter what you're doing Fact. if you rapping if you uh selling pictures, if you yeah. cutting hair, if you whatever you're doing, if you producing, I've been through all kinds of different stuff, but yeah. people always know if Trapper say he gonna do he it, gonna it's gonna do get it. done. That's where a lot of my uh connections come from. You know what I'm saying? Word of mouth is is, is, is a lot. You know, one thing people do say is he do come and he handle his business, you know. They know if they get around me on any type of thing, we're gonna make some money out of it. We're gonna make something happen. I don't really just take a whole bunch of ills unless it's just Con like consequences from certain, certain stuff that didn't happen in the past or something like that. But most of the time I put my mind to something, I get it done. Okay. So I, I really just started reaching out to people about the vlog. I was really nervous about doing it. I didn't want to do a vlog by myself because I didn't want to do anything without Ice Smiles. Right. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that was my right. brother. We had a whole show going and I got comfortable with that setting I because that. I've always been a solo artist yeah. so I had never had anybody that I could lean on. Right. I miss Ice, man. That yeah. Was, he gave me a lot of advice, a lot. He used to always give me advice. I remember growing up in the neighborhood, they were just balling out of control. I'm talking about balling, balling. It just didn't make no sense. But Ice was one of the ones that always pulled me to the side. Like, Suavio, man, just keep on going, man. You're going to get there. Him, uh, Big Keys. Shout out to uh, Keys. Shout out to Keys. A whole bunch of people, man. Ball. Uh, Shout out to Ball, man. Uh, legends, all legends. Even uh, Grinch, Grinch, you no, know, from from Dirty Jack Lace Ball. Oh yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. He hit me up, giving me advice. You know what I'm saying? So when people like that hit you up, you got to take that serious because these dudes can put in work. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know Ball Jones. You know, yeah. Hits, hits, ice hits. I just, I just grew up around people that was really. 
independent getting it. You know what I'm saying? Major League, we had, we had, man, sound scan numbers, $100, everything, hundred thousand dollar deal. Master you know P was saying? trying to sign him. Yeah, P yeah. was finna sign him, but instead of signing him, he's man, I ain't gonna say that, but he, I ain't gonna say he did it, but somebody he was messing with put it together to still one of Ice Mouth songs, which was oh we. Straight up, I'm not lying. No wow. cap. No cap. For real. And he know who he is, so I'm not going to say it because it's old, and my brother ain't here to defend himself. Yeah, it true that. It really did happen, but long live Iceman. He taught me a lot, you know what I'm saying? He sp most definitely taught me uh, about confidence and uh, being yourself, you know. He was very flamboyant, man. He was just a real player, you know what I'm saying? But he always light up the room everywhere he went. Well, Ice have definitely spent a lot of time in this room, and I'm sure he watching over us right now, man. He he probably sitting there, man, sitting <laughs> back and popping his collar and doing you know, all that extra stuff that Ice what, Miles what do, they man. Grin. Yeah, yeah, he he grinning, thinking, man, you know, man, why yeah. trapping to do all that when I around there? You know what I'm saying? With his suit on, with his suit on. Yeah, oh, yeah, got yeah. Him in the room. <laughs> He's sitting in my chair. <laughs> Pippi Le Pew, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, it's real Arkansas stuff right dang, there, man. Dang, uh, <laughs> dang man. Don't, don't have me crying on the first episode, man. Hey, man, it is what it is, bro. Um, so, five years from now, you just going to be chilling, still doing what you're doing, still Suave Yoda done, still making the mu music, still selling T-shirts, still... Nah, I'm it's gonna be that stuff, but it's gonna be instead of still selling T-shirts, I'm gonna have a store. Uh, as far as a barber cutting hair, I'm gonna have a couple barber shops. Uh, I've already branded my name, so I feel like with me branding my name, it's gonna veer off into like fashion and different products. Cause I do have kids. Uh, I got plans on coming out with a popcorn for one of my daughters. <clears throat> it's a special popcorn too. No, y'all not gonna get the sauce, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna do good. <laughs> But, you know, I got kids, so I'm going to be molding them, them into being entrepreneurs. That's going to be so fun for me, you know what I'm saying, because I already did it. Yeah. But I, so me coaching them, knowing what the results, gonna, it's going to be fun, you know what I'm saying. And uh, my only have, I only got one son, so uh, he ain't want to follow him. I don't know if he wanted to follow in my footsteps, but he's still young. He's 12. I asked him what he want to be when he grow up. He told me he want to be a scientist. So... We're going to be building out a science guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to push him as far as I can unless he wants to try something different. But right now he wants to be a scientist. So I'm going to have to tap into that. You know what I'm saying? But my girls, they want to be, they want to do music. One of my girls don't, though. But my baby girls, they want to do music. My youngest, she swears she a rapper. Oh, that's, that's, that's dope, though. That's dope. She be posing like a rapper. She be, man, she just another me. And it's crazy because I was thinking my son would be like that. It's my youngest baby, man. She is a, I'm, she she just like me, man. She just like me, man. <laughs> look For at real. God. Well, now we got like something me. to look forward to. That's what's yeah. up. Yep, yeah. that's the type of stuff I'm on, man. And uh, you know, I already got my my record label. It should, I'm expecting it to be bigger than ever, man. And I'm gonna help out these rappers around here too, cause ain't nobody helping these dudes, man. Everybody think they know it all, man. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see no numbers. I mean I ain't I ain't doing a lot, lot, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no big time multi platinum artist, but you can tell that I am doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm the things that I'm doing is 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 making progress. Is is it's working. It's just gotta get better and get bigger. But being an indie by yourself it's gonna take a little, a little longer because you don't have a whole bunch of people in place. It's not a bigger bag in place, and you don't have people all over these different spots in the world speaking up on you. Yeah, so it take yeah. you three months. Yeah. It take you three years to do what they can do in three in months. Three months. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. That's yeah. that's the industry. That's the music game. Yep. You know, I talk to a lot of people when I start talking about doing this show. I I only invited four people. Three of them have already returned. But you, uh, <laughs> you was lit about it. You knew what I had going. Yeah, yeah. I why, well, how did you know what, what was going, though? Because it's like, oh, you, you had a whole different vibe about no. it. Because I know you be having stuff like this. You'll just pull it out of nowhere, though. Like, you be having, <laughs> man, I know, I'd be like, I bet you Trapper got it. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, he do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they got it, we got it. I always For tell them real. that. If they got it, we got For it. If real. they do it somewhere else, we can we do can it right do it here. Right here. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 
knew that. <laughs> you know that's my motto. You know, so yeah. I so I mean, that. I appreciate you. I appreciate, no I appreciate you coming you, out, bro. man. <laughs> I know, boy. If they if they get a feel for it, they ain't gonna never want to stop taking it because what you got is dope, bro. Man, thanks, man. You, everything you got is dope. So. We're going to uh, do something special because I just started a Patreon. You got a Patreon? Uh-uh. Uh, I just got a Patreon account, so we're going to shut off all the other cameras. Okay. And we're going we're gonna to talk to the Patreon supporters for about five, ten minutes, yeah. you know, because they're going to put a little extra in the in the bank for a buck. Okay. You know, I need that. You know what I'm saying? It goes to my advertising. Yeah. Hey, we need that money, man. It, it takes money. And if you want to support the show in any kind of way, feel free to reach out, uh, cash app. Uh, Trapper the Rapper 2 uh, on Cash App, you know what I mean? And if you also check out, if you got a Patreon account, drop a few dollars in there and make this show bigger and better. And we're going to have a lot of really dope people out that do a lot of dope things. And, you know, real hustlers, real entrepreneurs that know how to get the bag. And we're just going to tell their story. Um, and I appreciate y'all, you know, any kind of way you can make a donation, you know. I need that money. I got a family. Ain't none of this free. You know what I'm really? saying? So we're going we're gonna to switch over and talk to the Patreon supporters. Uh, Shouts out to everybody on the podcast. Uh, like it. Subscribe. You know, everything that they do on those things, you know, man, to show people that, you know, we got uh, followers. Same thing on uh, YouTube. Uh, hit the like button, smash the like button, whatever they say on there, mm-hmm. and uh, and follow. You know, ring the bell one time. Bell. Let ring them know the you bell. have to reach millions. Is here. We gonna be. We ain't going nowhere. This is just the first episode. So, with that being said, I appreciate y'all for uh, tuning in and listening. Trap. All right, it's the rapper, baby. <laughs> it's the rapper.